hello people welcome to a brand new video on serpent os in my previous video i had a brief look on the latest iso file which is a pre-alpha release and uh, then i spoke about the package manager moss and then i did something silly i was trying to look for an installer and i for some reason assumed it would be a graphical installer but then there was one line in the terminal that I grossly missed. If you pay attention here, it talks about installer can be launched using sudo lightchain, and then you need to before that you need to create a partition. That's the line I grossly missed. So in this video, I will quickly run through the install installation process. Should be very simple. So let's get into it. First thing we need to do is to run f disk. Um, I'll make it actually um, zoomed in. So, all right. So nothing unexpected. I think I need to do it like this. I typically use C uh, disk. By the way, I don't know if uh, yeah they don't have it actually. So, anyways, so here we can see that I have um, only one disk here. Devices dev sta for 20 GB is a virtual drive. Uh, before I proceed, please do not install this on your live machines or daily drivers. Prefer to use virtual machines for exp uh, experimentation or use a spare PC if you are like super excited. Don't use it as a daily driver. It's a pre-alpha release. Alright, so what we need to do now, we will just run fdisk on dev sda, which is the name I got from there. Okay, It can be something different in your case, so adopt accordingly now i don't really remember how to use it but um, it says it reads m for help now as always i need to prepare my disk so the first step always is the creation of partition table these days just go for gpt don't look at mbr and all that so just go for g which is for gpt partition table once this is done very quick now we need to create um, partitions which is the section so in this case we need two partitions number one we need a boot partition uh, and then we'll create uh, another partition for our operating system all right so regardless of the fact you are using MBR uh, boot or legacy boot or EFI you need one boot partition now serpent OS is only EFI it doesn't support legacy which makes sense for modern machines so what we will do, we will create a new partition using n command. And for Norway, we enter it. Uh, this is partition number one. So let's keep default. Per sector default, I'm fine with that. Now here, um, last sector. So here I need to allocate a space, right? So what I would do is I would just do plus. And uh, for boot partitions, 1GB is typically enough. Uh, so I'll just do one plus 1G so I'm just allocating 1 giga for the EFI boot partition or EFI partition whatever you call it now it confirms that a new partition 1 has been created as Linux file system now it's a boot partition it should not be a file system partition right so I need to change the partition type which should be somewhere there you have here so change partition type so we just do T for Taiwan and then enter um okay so let's do l or all and then i need to see the first one here efi system right so we'll just press q for queen to quit and then press one for efi system enter and it has been changed from linux file system to efi system now um i know mathematically i have 19 gb left to be for for the new partition I mean to be used as root um, but we can see I can put maybe is it L or I I don't I can't see clearly L no sorry yes I so I tells me I only have one partition which is G uh, one giga and type is EFI um, and then there's one more command here that tells me I can see an partition space which is F right so let's do that it tells me I have one giga, sorry, 19 giga left. So let's do uh, one more partition, which is N. And in this case, default choices are okay because it's number two. I'm fine with two. 
uh, just take whatever sector available as a first choice and then I want to allocate all the space available so I'll just press enter 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 and that's it it tells me partition 2 has been created as a Linux file system for 19 gigabytes makes sense uh, now all we need to do is to save changes so I just look up help yeah so I just need to save and exit using W key as soon as I do it we are good now I can double check using sudo fdisk um, l so it tells me I have dev sda1 as my EFI system partition 1 giga and then dev sda2 for Linux FS now uh, that's one step so uh, first step which is done now let's do the second step which is creation of file systems so we typically use makefs right if you remember um, so I'll do sudo makefs and I think here I need to use fat so by the way in general whenever you're messing around with uh, boot partitions always go for uh, fat uh, which is like DOS days and stuff it always works so I need a, a, a fat a file allocation table a fat a partition it should be 32 uh, I hope I'm doing it right but let's see and I want to create this on devices as da1 yeah okay it was right so it works okay so I just created myself uh, uh, FS or sorry a fat partition uh, sorry fat file system on EFI partition and then now we can we will use file system for the root or like the entire drive that I will use for OS and whatnot um, typically I always I not only me by the way everybody uses uh, extended for partition you can try journal FS and whatnot but I'm used to uh, X4 extended for so we will create extended for partition on the SDA2 and that should be it great so um, if you remember the the first thing that we saw up there that you need to partition your disk which is done so we just do sudo lichen or lichen or whatever um, I hope I'm getting it right so sudo lichen and let's see great um, looks like we are like in a minimalist um, setup so first thing we need to do is to select a locale uh, English USA enter and then I need to select the time zone as we can read here so in my case I am in Asia and Riyadh Saudi Arabia so and my root password let's keep it like one two three then username call it like user is a test machine or virtual machine who cares give the same password and now it's asking me um, a partition for EFI system which is we know it says DA1 we just go with the first choice enter and then everything else has to be used as a root which will host the operating system as well as the um, the home directories right so we just press enter and now quickly review your settings local time zone bootloader uh, root everything looks good and let's press y and there to be honest this is one of the best installers i have seen it's minimalist uh, does the job um, quite robust compared to void installation process or even arch now i did not set up the network i remember that in in arch gen 2 or void you are supposed to set up your network first um there there is no option here in this case i'm using virtual machine so it's already bridging my network from my like main host machine which is pop os but uh, i don't know how it will work on bare metal hardware where, where you are supposed to have network especially wi-fi it requires configuration or you can use your mobile device uh, via USB cable as a modem and then you can work because you can see here it's downloading a whole lot of files it has to go 325 and now it's downloading like 190 or something so I think uh, let's pause video here I, I will be back once it is all done
all right so downloading is almost done and we are very close to have this up and running I think I should pause again it might take a while man this was blazing fast one of the best install installers I have seen to date minimalist fast and only time that was spent was either making the file systems or preparing my hard disk or downloading um, super impressed so now um, as we can see here I'm supposed to reboot the machine uh, but before that I need to um, I'll actually instead of booting uh, rebooting it I'll just shut it down and um, the reason is I need to um, I need to remove the the ISO the live ISO file because I don't want the machine to boot again from the uh, as a file all right so let's go to settings from there go to storage and that's the live as a file we can delete it from here like so and let's move it and then press ok and then run the machine again so now in this case it should run from my um virtual i mean virtual drive okay and uh uh, for some reason something is wrong no that's correct all right so welcome to serpent os what's my password i think one two three yes all right so that's typical gnome desktop running um serpent os uh what the heck is that <laughs> why it is like so Seen something is broken. Um, let's run Firefox. So this one is running fine. Um, so here, this one is running perfectly fine. So. Um, anyway so let's see uh, apps is quite minimalist really really love it so it's just the browser and some system utilities but for some reason i've got the mail broken um i don't know what's happening here um let's go into system settings mm -hmm. this window also seems broken um, don't know what the heck is going on oh so i have to do like this it's like scratch card from lottery um, something is broken um, I don't know if that is due to virtual graphics card what is that Z that's the unsupported GPU okay so anyways so that's how you install Serpent OS and in the meantime I figure out what the heck is wrong here and next one maybe I will probably do a detailed review of MOS and then I'll do one more video on Boulder, which is the uh, build system of uh, Serpent OS. Until next time, keep enjoying Serpent OS and thanks for watching. Bye.